hello lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are highly welcome today i am sending you to the northern part of ghana where i share with you how to make tubani so sit and enjoy the rest of the tutorial now let's get started in a bowl i pour in my beans i'm using black eye beans to that i add one cup of bambaram beans and then I mix all together. I'll cover and then send it to a commercial mill to mail it. So I'll be back. And we are back. So let's check the smoothness. Hmm, I like it. Yeah, it's very smooth to my likeness. If you don't like salt pita, then this food is not for you. Without salt pita or potash, you cannot make this food. So this is my salt pita. I pour into a cup and then I add water to it. I add more. I will stir to dissolve the salt pita. Mm, it's very hard and it cannot dissolve right away. So I will set it aside to rest for about 30 minutes and the salt pita too also contains some amount of sand so the sand too will settle down whilst our solution is resting we will go ahead and save our flour i'll be using two cups And this is the chaff I had. I will not throw it away. I will add it to the flour. This is one cup of cassava flour. I add it to the beans flour. And then I mix all together. You need cassava flour as well. Okay. I have cold. My voice is not that clear. So forgive me for that. Now our solution has rest for 30 minutes now. And you can see that the sun that I was talking about has settled down. So we are going to use only the water. Okay. So I pour some into the flour. We are going to add the solution little by little small small okay so that we will have a full control over the paste we are going in for so guys i love to continue with my hand Perfect. This is the consistency we are going in for. So our paste is ready. We will set this aside and then we move on to the next step. In a pan, I pour in cold water. Just take a reasonable amount of water, okay? After that, I will cover it and then I bring the water to a boil. When it starts to boil, that means that we can scoop and drop the paste in the water, okay? Just the way I am doing here. This is also another version of Tubani. We have some that we use leaves. So in case you don't have the leaves, you can use this method. They all taste the same. It's only the methods that differ, okay? And one thing you have to take note about is that you have to be very, very watchful. When it starts to boil, you can see that it produces some foamy substance on the surface. When it gets to the end of the pan, you have to open it else it will boils over that is why i said you have to be very very watchful so we close again and then keep watching it when it comes up again then we open the lid okay so simple as that and i'm doing this on medium heat At this 
point you can tell that our tubani is ready but still let's test so you get a bowl of cold water and then you take one of the tubani into the cold water allow it to cool down after that you open to see if there's flour in the middle if you don't see any flour here that means that our tubani is ready so at this point mine is ready so i turn off my heat and then i take the tubani off the fire okay now i will go ahead and add cold water to the tubani i add more and then i drain the water out and voila our tubani is ready now it's time to serve and you are finally welcome to the northern part of Ghana, you can enjoy this food with wache stew or you can match it with your suya spice. I love it with my suya spice and I have a video on how to make this suya spice at home. Then I add oil to it. This is an excellent combo and I hope you are going to give it a try trust me you will love it thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel until i see you in my next video stay blessed bye bye